Hi, I'm Tom Mullaney. I'm coming to you today from Google Earth. Google Earth is a wonderful tool for teaching students about the world we live in. But did you know you can create your own customizable tours in Google Earth? Yes, it's called Projects. It lives at this icon right here. And when we click it, we create a new project and they will live in Google Drive. You can get old ones, ones you've worked on before by clicking that button, open project from Google Drive, but we will create from Google in Google Drive. So let's create the project. And I will call this Inner Sunset, give it a title. And I can add a description as well, but notice it's auto saving. So there it is. And then we can do new features. And so we have, what I suggest is adding place marks, searching to add place, uh, full screen sides, or drawing to add lines or shapes. Uh, those are the easiest things to add to a project. So let me just do a quick full screen slide and you'll see with the slide, you can add an image, which is really nice uh, for a background. And we can do that. And actually I'll just do a quick, let's do a Google image search for inner sunset. Let's go. Okay. Ooh, and I like this one a lot. So we'll just click on it. And so that'll be our background for that slide. And I'll say, uh, welcome to inner sunset. And we'll say, oh, away we go. And notice you have uh, some really nice formatting features here. So you have those to take advantage of. Um, you can also just do a solid color as the uh, tile, but we can just do that. And then we'll hit back and let's now add another feature. And I will search to add place and I'll do the 16th street tiled steps, 16th Avenue tiled steps, excuse me. And it kind of knows I want to do that cause I'm, you know, earth is right there. So we go there. And now we can add that to the project. And it has the Google information, but I'm going to highly encourage you to click this replace button because otherwise it's just what Google has. You can't customize it. So we'll click replace and there we can now add images. So again, I'll do uh, an image search 16 tiled steps. So there we go, we can add some text and then you can choose between small info box, no or uh, large, we, I'd say go small or large. You can also customize your um, icon. You can add a custom icon, just like in Google My Maps. Um, and I would also say go with extra large on the, on the size. I just makes it pop a little bit more. So we have our two features and let me click present. So I'll see what this looks like when I present this to others. So uh, this picture is perfect, by the way, <laughs> just to start. Notice there's your title and your text. And then you click the next one and there's the small info box and some text. I can then actually go back and let me just edit this real quick and let's make it the uh, large info box, show you what that looks like. Click preview. Actually, let me go back to present real quick because you see it in the editor there. We click present. Get your table of contents. I love that table of contents. And then you click and notice the much bigger information box. And this one's black and uh, the small one is white. So it's something you can think about uh, what you want to do. You can keep adding places and shapes and full screen slides. And it just goes through. There is a nice sharing button right there to share the project. Our share settings include... Right here, you'll be asked if you wanna share it as yourself in Google Drive. And when you click copy link, that will share it and you paste that link. And anyone who uh, has that link can then go and look at it, uh, but make sure it's set to anyone with the link can view. Or you can just click present to lead your audience through it. It is a really nice tool. Uh, motion sickness for sure, but besides that, Google Earth projects, very, very useful. Uh, so what does this look like in Google Drive? So if I go to my drive and then I click on recent, there it is. It is there and I can right click and then move it to whatever folder I like. I can also search for these. It will not come up in advanced search if I go to type, 
But if I type in the words type colon earth, one word, and then just hit that, then notice I get all of my um, Google Earth projects and I can then right click and move them to folders as I need. If you have any questions about this, please comment below or tweet me at Tom E. Mullaney. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.